Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Naninga and this is my channel where we talk about makeup, fashion, beauty and finances, weirdly, but yeah, we do talk about that stuff on this channel, but we're not here for that. Today I have an ASOS unboxing. Yes, I have an ASOS haul. Um, it's not really a haul, it's an uh, just ASOS dresses, yeah? Now, ASOS is a UK-based retailer. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, I didn't cram this, yeah, but um, I have not, as a Kenyan, I know that ASOS does uh, manufacture some of its clothing in Kenya. They even have an ASOS made in Kenya range uh, on their website, which one day, hopefully, I will try. So ironical that those clothes have to go to the UK and then they come all the way back to Kenya via <laughs> online. But I don't have a choice but to shop on ASOS because they have a tall section. Yeah, a tall section. Yes, you had that right. ASOS has a tall section and they also have a petite section for petite girls. And they also have a curvy section for curvy girls. And yeah, let's just get into the now, video. Now, these are not many clothes, but they're dresses actually because I have always wanted dresses that fit properly. For example, as I said, I'm tall. So the ASOS tall section actually has tall clothes. Um, most of the time, if I buy something that is labeled as a mini, it becomes obscene. It is no longer a mini <laughs> on me. It now becomes in the obscene category. So it's really nice if I can just buy something marked as a mini and it's actually a mini and not an obscenity. Bought from ASOS before was a pair of jeans and I was very much impressed with it. But then I mostly uh, feel like if you want to shop on ASOS, don't shop for like this. What are they called? Uh, uh, my vocabulary is very limited, but uh, I, I prefer like I opted to buy on ASOS like classy, elegant clothing as compared to maybe Boohoo because Boohoo rarely has like elegant clothes. So, um, yeah, I don't mean to trash that. Boohoo has its own style of clothing, which is very trendy. But I opted for like elegance in this too. But let's just get to the. first dress that I got, please somebody invite me to a Christmas party as soon as possible before the year ends. And it's this velvet dress. Now this one was not from the tall section and it was the only one that was not from the tall section. But I felt like it could fit me probably because it looked long on the model. And it's just a velvet dress. I'll obviously be inserting for you guys the price here and also probably uh, the, the image of how it looks on me yes so it's just a velvet dress i really love it like i just saw it okay the design is the kind of design you guys have been seeing but like with cutouts on the side and this is the skirt part basically so it has like a really long skirt part it's um from the asos design uh section and i bought it in a size uk 12 look at that velvet like yeah, it has a slit at the back. Now, I always love clothes with slits at the back because uh, nowadays I've seen so many types of clothes that you actually try to walk and you cannot walk in them. They are basically just for photo shoots, just for lying on a chair or lying on a couch and then filming because you can't walk in them. They're not practical unless you're being carried around. The dress that I actually got from ASOS is uh, this one. I know a lot of Kenyans might... <laughs> feel like this is a grandma dress but to me it looked really cute on the model and it had long sleeves so i was so excited to actually wear a dress uh with long sleeves and uh it's from the tall section so i wanted a dress that fits really well from the tall section but the the, the print i know that kenyans will say it's for a grandma but it's not for a grandma to me i like this print i love it so much just look at it like it's brown, green, white. And you guys know that I love earthy colors. Like earthy colors are my thing. Got it from the so, ASOS tall section. So this is an yeah, ASOS design tall section. 
and uh, it just has frills right here like frills on the sleeves I find this kind of thing really really cute like you guys have no idea and then um, the long sleeved and it's a mini dress so that will offset any grandma vibes yeah and I just can't wait to wear this dress the fabric is just soft nothing much but it doesn't look very flimsy I'd say not flimsy enough like it's of course it's lightweight because it's sort of like for hot weather yes but it's not very flimsy yeah so i got that from the asos tall section yes and uh i can't wait to wear it because i just i'm tired of buying like clothes that are mini and then they turn out to be obscene it's so annoying yeah guys, i'm going to interrupt this video for a short caution break Kindly, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please, I'm only looking for 10 likes and 10 subscribers more. And, uh, yeah, please make sure you subscribe. I'll be so grateful, guys. Like, this time around, I only want 10 likes. Like, I rarely go over 10 likes in most of my videos. I just want 10 likes. Seriously. <laughs> Hit the like button and I will be so grateful. Yeah, so, uh, if you're small... There's a petite section on ASOS. If you're tall, there's a tall section on ASOS. And I got these clothes via post office. Don't even ask me how long it took. Not so long, but pretty long. Now, this next dress, I also got it from the tall section. And it is the ASOS. Ah, I don't know whether I've been reading the names of these dresses to you guys. But I'll probably link them all in the description box. Now, this is also a mini dress. But I liked the way it fit on the model. It wasn't too short. And I hope that it won't be obscene. Because I've had to buy mini dresses all the way from ASOS just because I'm too tall. For reference, guys, I'm actually, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm actually 5 foot 10 and a half. I'm 178 centimeters, which is 5 foot 10 and a half inches. That is so tall, guys. That is so tall. Yeah, anyway. If you are a Rwandese and a Sudanese, make sure you follow me on this channel, <laughs> South Sudanese. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not trying to say that Kenyans are not tall, no. But we all know that Rwandese and South Sudanese are really tall like me. So make sure you follow me on this channel. <laughs> Support our tall sister. Yeah, but anyway, uh, this is a... Uh... It's also your short. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Made in Mauritius, oh, made in an African country also. Now, this is the ASOS design, uh, UK size 10. Well, this one I sized down specifically for various reasons. One, the reviews. When you're buying online, always, always listen to the reviews or rather read the reviews. They'll guide you. So it was saying that it's really big and baggy and it's like a huge size. It has ribs. And I just thought, um, I don't really have a navy. Oh, this is weird, but I love navy. Um, it's not one of the most flattering colors on our skin tone. But because it was just plain, I decided I like it. And it was on sale. Very affordable. You're going to just see right here. And uh, it has ribs on it. And it's a square neckline. I feel like square necklines are really flattering. Even the flower dress had a square neckline. So... That I got it, and uh, I hope you guys are seeing how it fits me right here. Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to insert at the end or something of the sort. Yeah, it was quite affordable, and I can't wait to this try it. This one is last but not the least. I was crossing my fingers that this one fits well. The reviews were not so good, but I was crossing my fingers because I've seen was fabrics the reviews were about the fabric people were complaining that the fabric to this one is really really light but i was crossing my fingers, fingers and i was just like i hope the fabric is bearable because i love this dress like on the website it was fire i also got it from the tall section and this one is a dressier one it's just like the velvet one really dressy like evening something something party something something yeah so it's gold no african skin and gold now this one i got it in a size 10 and as i said it was from the tall section of asos and uh i think did i get a 10 no it was a 12 if i'm not wrong 
yes a 12 because i remember the only one i sized up down was this one so a size 12 and honestly the fabric is not that bad for me and for the price you know sometimes you have to put various factors into question did i pay the value of what i want you know for example if uh, let's say a cloth is 20 do us dollars or 20 pounds like you're not expecting the value the dress quality to be that of 200 pounds you understand so for the price i feel that i got value for my money straight up i got value for my money and considering like it's really really cute like one hand you guys know me and asymmetrical so one hand is like short sleeved and the other one is literally sleeveless yes and the other and it has a slit that i feel is pretty decent enough and i just oh i can't wait to try it on guys and probably you guys are going to see how fabulous it looks right here i love that dress so so much guys and in case you want me to uh inform you of how i normally ship from asos to kenya uh yeah and just tell me in the comment section and i'll explain to you guys very very well yeah i don't usually use an agent but obviously if you want faster shipping faster keyword here is faster like maybe in two weeks or something you can use agents there's there's so many agents there's even dhl is an agent um there's a dhl e shop you can also use like various agents there are agents from uk basically there are so many i don't know i'll list them down below basically if you want really fast shipping but i used uh the normal aso shipping and guess what Kenya, once you hit 55 pounds okay for this purchase uh once you reach 55 pounds you actually qualify for free shipping yes 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 you qualify for free shipping so i didn't pay shipping on these clothes because i think i kind of passed the 55 pounds mark and uh, so it was free what i did pay was customs in kenya definitely you're not going to escape customs and it wasn't much i paid 500 bob 600 700 yeah because there's also a charge on the post office so around 700 kenya shillings for this asos patches and uh yeah if you're not yet subscribed kindly subscribe and uh yeah i also do styling videos so i'm just not gonna show you the clothes and not show you how to style them yes and uh thank you so much guys for watching i'll see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload so make sure you hit the bell notification and if you're into this kind of thing don't forget to subscribe i repeat again yes thank you so much my subscribers i appreciate you you are wonderful people i don't take anybody for granted because you are the ones motivating me when i see somebody like literally hitting subscribe and um, i get that notification that you have one new subscriber so and so or two new subscribers so and so i feel so grateful in my heart and i'm just like may those people be blessed where they are you know yeah, so thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.